Hello, friends. This is Alia Jamal, the Love Coach, and coming here for our day 13 of 30-day series of Relationship with Yourself. And today we are talking about lack of self-belief or believing that I am somebody. When we have hard time seeing ourselves as the magnificent being that we are. So look at your life and pay attention to where do you have hard time believing that you can be somebody, that you can create something, and why is it so? In our life, especially as an adult life, we put on so many masks to hide our lack of confidence within ourselves or in our ability to create the life that we desire or to create the changes that we desire, we put on so many masks that we start uh, being un, uh, dishonest with ourselves. We are not being truthful to ourselves and we keep pretending, oh yeah, I believe myself, I believe myself. But in truth, we don't. So when we are going to bed, when it's nighttime, when nobody's there, when we are alone with our thoughts, that is when all these doubts about ourselves come to the surface. So pay attention to that. Be honest with yourself. Allow yourself to seek that honesty within you because that is the start of a change within you. So look at your life and see where you don't really see yourself as worthy or as you are somebody. You're somebody, forget about you're somebody who can actually do something. Forget about that, that you are somebody. You're not just um, like, you know, an extra person, just another person. You're not just another number in the eight, almost eight billion people that we have on this planet where you can truly feel your essence. I am somebody. We are not talking about worth because that is I'm somebody who can actually do something or who's worthy of something. We are just talking about self-belief. I am. I am somebody. I am here. I can depend on myself. I can create something. I have the power within me. We're talking just about the, that aspect. When we have hard time believing in ourselves, believing in our own power, it comes from a place of disconnect. That's why we're talking about relationship with yourself. Think of a tree trunk that has been disconnected from its root. So when we've been disconnected from our root, which is our soul, which is divine power, when we are disconnected from that, when we don't even connect with it, when we are not even drawing energy from it, that is when we feel lost. And we feel, I don't think so, I'm somebody, I don't think so, I can't really do. We go to college, we get a degree, we get a job based on that degree, we make some money based on that job. We live a very mundane life, but when it comes to connecting with ourselves and bringing our unique light to the world, that is when we, that is where we get stuck. That is the part I had to work through within me before my work became like, you know, this work became my life because this is my soul's work. I am walking on my soul's path. And there was a struggle to go through that, connecting with that self-belief. Yeah, I can do it. Yeah, I am somebody. I do have the power within me to create a shift, to create something different, to create a change, not just in my life, but in someone else's life. So when we heal that aspect within us, when we connect with our root, that is when we start to believe ourselves. That is when we don't need outside validation to motivate us. We don't need to listen to a new motivational video every single day. I personally don't believe in a motivation that comes from outside of us. Yeah, we all need that in the beginning. I needed that in the beginning. But I believe in a goal to get to a place where you're so connected with your root that nothing of this world can shake you. Nothing of this world can impact you. And that is all nurturing a deep relationship with yourself. And if you have a hard time assessing yourself, look at yourself where in your life you're playing small. It could be in your relationships. Maybe you are in a relationship, but you're not fully loving the other person. You're not being a flow of that divine love that is within you. Maybe it's your 
in your career, you're just stuck in one spot. Maybe it's in your health. We, you have some health issues, but you don't believe you can work through them or you can truly have a healthy body. Those are all the places you're disconnected from your root. You don't even know who you are, how you're going to believe in yourself when you don't even know who you are. We are so stuck in our five senses. We are so stuck in our body that, you know, we are this body and we come here and we are struggling. We're so stuck in that narrative. But you are way beyond this body. You are a magnificent, infinite being of divine power, divine love, and divine light. When, you, when those truths are not just a theory for you, but you start to embody them because you can connect with the divine power within you. When in your navel, you feel that power, you don't feel the frenzy energy anymore, you are connected with it. When you feel that, that is when you start to step into it and you start to go in a direction that you truly, truly desire. And you're not holding yourself back. When we are not believing ourselves, that is the darkness within us that we are letting letting it, uh, you know, live within us, uh, divide within us. And we feel like I'm just being humble. No, I don't think so. I can do it. But I know you can do it. I'm a cheerleader for everybody else. But when it comes to me, I just want to play small. My friend, there's nothing humble about it. Nothing humble about, about it. It's all darkness. And you have bought into that darkness. And the only way out is focusing on the light that you are. You came to this world to add to this world. It doesn't matter where you are on this planet, what financial situation you're in, what demographic situation you're in. You came on this planet to add to humanity, to add to this world. You are that important. When you start focusing on that, you start to feel something different in your stomach because our inner power is our navel area. The more you work in connecting with your inner power, you're going to feel a kind of strength in your navel. That is, that is where you're like, I can do anything. I know I can do it. I know I can go through it. I don't need to listen to this person or that person. I know for a fact I can do it. That is when you're stepping into your inner power. That is when you are stepping into that solid sense of self-belief. And when you are not there, that is when you know that your relationship with yourself is not where you think you are. When I meet people, especially when I introduce myself that I'm the I'm the love coach, I help people unconditionally uh, fall in love with themselves, or I teach people unconditional self-love, usually the people who have that wound within them, they are the first one to speak in the room. And this is what they will say right away. I think I love myself. I think I love myself a lot. For those people who are just like, you know, at a decent place, they, they don't feel like, you know, saying that. Because in that moment, they feel threatened. Oh my God, there's somebody who can see it. So I need to say something right away. It's an unconscious behavior. So if you're listening to this and your mind is going, oh no, I don't need this. I believe myself. I Look at my life, where I am. I believe myself. My friend, I understand you could be a very successful person wherever you are. If you're not, If you're not sharing the light that is within you, with this world, then you're not on the path. You're not on the path of success of the soul. Now it's up to you if you wanna live that or not. Some people are okay not living that, but I teach that level of success where you become one with your soul, where the body is not controlling you anymore, where you can listen to your soul and you can actually follow it. That is where we truly bring our light in this world. Otherwise anyone can go out start a business, make a bunch of money or get a higher degree, make a bunch of money, donate a lot of money. But we need your light. We need that unique thing that's only within you. Each and every one of us have that. And to get access to that, one of the doorway is believing in yourself. Now, here's the trick uh, or tip you can use to nurture this belief. Look in the mirror, put a timer for three minutes, 
Look in the mirror and look in your eyes. You can, you can blink your eyes, but just keep looking in the eyes of yourself and focus on the being that is keeping you alive, this body alive, the being that animates your hand, the being that's allowing you to breathe right now. Just focus on that divine aspect within you. And if you can hold your gaze for or attention for three minutes, at the end of it, something is going to shift within you because this is what's going to happen. You're going to make contact with that part of you that is within you. That is the true you. Now, if this is something you're ready to go deep into and dig deeper and truly create a kind of belief within yourself that's unshakable, you can go to my website, aliajmalcoaching.com. You can book a consultation. And I would love to be your guide to bring you home to your actual truth. Not just the truth that you think, you know, the opinion that you have about other people, but who you truly are. That is all for today. I'm sending you so much love and I'll see you guys on the next segment. Bye.